Uh, next, I'd like to demonstrate the diffraction of light as it passes through various uh, geometries. For example, uh, here I have a, uh, a, a wire screen and the various wires uh, adjacent to one another form uh, narrow openings and as that light passes through those narrow openings a pattern is formed. For example, when I take that spot of laser light on the screen there and use that as a source of light for the light from that laser uh, spot on the screen coming up passing through this wire mesh onto the retina of my eye I see a diffraction pattern on the retina of my eye and I'd like to show you uh, as you watch this movie what that pattern looks like by having that pattern formed as the laser beam passes through this and shines onto the screen. So to show that, let me turn the lights down for better contrast. So now we, we're shining this uh, laser onto the screen and I'm going to let that laser light shine through this uh, wire mesh screen here onto our receiving uh, white screen there and you see that kind of a pattern form. Now notice as I move it up and down, the pattern stays about the same. So those are not shadows of the various wires on this screen. Those are, uh, that's an actual diffraction pattern from this particular geometry. A similar geometry would be a series of threads in this piece of cloth here. I'll let the light shine through that cloth and we see a diffraction pattern formed on the cloth. No, notice that the orientation of the cloth makes a difference in the orientation of the pattern, but the position up and down or back and forth uh, doesn't change the pattern, indicating that those are not shadows of the threads, but those are actual, that's an actual diffraction pattern. Another pattern we can form is to let the light from the laser pass through uh, the various uh, parts of this little bird's feather, and uh, we get a very uh, interesting diffraction pattern from that depending upon where it passes. Again, the narrower the opening, the greater the spread. And of course, again, we're talking about monochromatic light here, just a single wavelength or just a single color. Now, a diffraction grating is a device made of a number of very uh, closely spaced uh, slits. And uh, here I have such a device. I'm going to put that diffraction grating in front of the uh, light source here, the laser light source, and see what kind of a pattern forms on the receiving screen. Here I have those slits oriented vertically so we get a horizontal spread in the pattern. If I orient those slits horizontally, then we get a vertical spread in the pattern. These slits are very close together so we get quite a large uh, angular spread of uh, maybe uh, 15 degrees or something like that between the central maximum and the uh, next bright spot on either side. The diffraction pattern from a diffraction grating. Notice there's also one on the far wall over there and one back behind me on the chalkboard and that uh, pattern uh, would just keep going and if the openings were closer together the pattern would be spread even more so. So we've uh, demonstrated a, uh, a wire screen, a piece of cloth, a bird's feather, and a uh, diffraction grating. Later we'll use this diffraction grating as an instrument to actually look at the spectrum of various sources of light. Uh, now another way to uh, demonstrate diffraction is to take a CD here which has a series of grooves in it and these grooves are spaced in such a way that we can end up with a uh, diffraction pattern from this uh, CD. Uh, you can see the light uh, from the room here reflected off of this and you can see the various colors diffracted differently. It's kind of a complex pattern here because we have so many lights and uh, all of the different colors and they're spreading to different degrees so we see the white light coming up onto this disc and it spreads out into its uh, component uh, colors. To uh, get a nice uh, clean look at a diffraction pattern from this reflection type of diffraction grating, if we want to call it that, uh, we want to use the uh, laser light and I'll set that up so that we can see uh, more precisely what we're talking about with the diffraction pattern from a grating or from a device such as a CD 
with a series of circular grooves. Uh, so now I've turned the laser around so the laser shines off in this direction, reflects off of the CD, and the light reflects back onto the screen, and we see the pattern on the screen. I'll turn the lights down in the room here for better contrast. And we see that we have a, uh, the CD behaves as if it were a diffraction grating of a reflection type. So the light is reflecting from those grooves in the CD and forming a pattern in much the same way that light was being transmitted through the grooves in our earlier diffraction grating.